we are a ministry that believes literally what the Bible says we don't want to add we don't want to subtract we believe what the Word of God says the Bible says being born again not of corruptible seed your root the socks of your existence in Christ is incorruptible and nothing can stop you nothing can break you nothing can defile you nothing can corrupt you welcome to the camp of life welcome to the tribe of incorruptibles in Christ a ministry is such a delicate responsibility that many don't know one of the greatest errors one can ever uh, make in, the li in his lifetime is to assume the position of ministry or responsibility of a minister without being called by the Lord to do it. Um, the demands of ministry is such an uh, 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 it carries such an immense weight. Uh, it's not about the stage. Of course, stage is built. And of course, some fools will take it. Thinking that that's just for fame and, and for whatever reasons they mount on it. And, you know, and there's also some silly women in church who are just... Uh, you know, a lot of things happen in church. And, but the Bible says in a great house, there are vessels that, that are to be honored. And there are vessels to be dishonored. Not every vessel in a great house is honorable. Are you hearing me? It says some are to be honored some are to be what? Dishonored. In a great house. Some are to be honored and some are to be dishonored. You know, we've raised this altar for 12 years. With bleeding with sweat, with fastings and prayers, with consecration and holiness. Anything contrary to that cannot survive here. Not for one day. You know, people can, can be stupid outside here, but don't bring it here. Are you hearing me? You don't, you don't. You can do what you want outside. Judgment will catch up with you later. But here? Uh-uh. You can be stupid, but don't bring it here. Don't ever bring it here. You know, um, we don't run ministry because we need a big crowd. The reason we expanded and bought more chairs is because we had more people coming. For instance, if we had to combine first service and second service, this place is not enough. It's going to be overflow. And people come here not because they want to look at any man. They came the first time something happened in their hearts they came the second time they had an encounter with God and then that's why they keep coming if the presence of the Lord is lifted here if this place is just a corner place where a good preacher preaches and people just come and go and we dance and sing it's it's not what we're here for I strive and I'll keep striving until we get there. Amen. This will remain the place of encounter. Amen. And no flesh will survive here. Amen. This altar is raised. I don't care what they say. 
I don't care what they do. I don't. I care less. In fact, I'm somebody. In fact, the earlier they get to know me, the the better. <laughs> me, before I signed up this ministry, I died. Is a dead man walking here? Is a dead man standing on on this pulpit? I hear no gossip. I hear nothing. And we're going to pray tonight or this afternoon to Lord. Raise us. Ministers on the stage who are filled with the Holy Spirit. Amen. We don't need gifts are not what we need. We don't need talent. Talent is full. We we have no a talent can take a person on the stage and destroy that person overnight. What what sustains a person is character. Are you hearing me? Character. We're going to pray tonight, amen, this afternoon. I am a very patient person, but can be very strong in decision making. And I know you may say this is a church service flow and get it in and then address the issue later on the right people would that have done something wrong. I know that. I know what I'm saying. I know why I'm saying this. You get to know the reasons later on. The Bible says open rebuke is better than secret love. And there are some things that will come public that I will publicly address. Are you hearing me? Yes. If it's if the mistake is public, then it will be publicly addressed. So the church will know that we don't stand for those nonsense. Amen. Lift your hands up towards heaven. Say, Father God, Father God in, the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let those that minister on this pulpit be spirit filled. Wisdom of God rest upon them. That they might be laid of the wisdom of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Nobody enters the frequencies, the electricity of Zion, and be the same. Your increase in the spirit decreases your carnality.